All right, everyone, welcome on to the next game of Terminator Dark Fate Defiance between Warpath and Blackhawk. This is going to be their first game, best uh, two out of three. They're doing a mirror match, Founders versus Founders. These guys have a little bit of a gentleman's code, gentleman's code, Jesus, I can't speak. <laughs> Nurgle's still inside me. Um, of If they both win one game, their last game will be a movement on movement fight. So cross your fingers pray to whatever deity you believe in that we get that last movement versus movement because it's going to be nuts so without further ado let's get on into here and i'm not rooting for anyone specific both of these guys are really funny and really cool we've been speaking in the chat so i just want that movement movement gameplay so i hope each one of them wins one game all right guys without further ado i'll see you on the battle map all right we are in this thing i'm so stoked to see these goobers fight each other um let's see what we got boom let's do the typical thing where i gotta move both sides away from the fight all right cool so we spawned in it looks like uh warpath is still making his uh deployment choices it looks like uh also both of them, Black Hawk Down is also making his deployment choices. All right, they spawned in. We've got a Humvee and a Striker start. They probably have this loaded up. Well, I'm guessing ATGM squad or infantry squad, or maybe the ATGM isn't in this squad. So I'm excited to see how other people play Founders. Um, I definitely feel like I play them a little bit more, uh, a little bit more defensively i am a defense and depth player and it looks like black hawk down has went with a apc and a striker so uh, different starts for both of them so we'll see what happens but i i feel like i play very defensively like i would take these buildings atgm here atgm right here put a straw put some couple infantry right there a sniper team over here to get vision and then this bridge will be my absolute area of most combat like i i, I will own this bridge no matter what but Let's see what's going on here. He's probably going to load an ATGM squad and put it here. That's what I would do for a defense on death down here on the D side. So he's taking this out. Okay. He's going to try and grab a little bit of an early C, get some infantry up in this building. This is the only medium defense building here in the area, which gives Blue a little bit of a, a, a benefit on this side. We got a Humvee. We got a couple of tow missiles coming up, so I feel like we're going in pretty well. He has a sniper team down here for vision. Interesting, interesting. I like that. Um, now, let's see. We have a couple of uh, infantry squads right here holding down C. I think what he's going to do is go straight for C, B, and E. This founder is what he's going to do, which I think is fantastic. So if you put a tow missile right here, you can actually fire onto the bridge from over here. You just need vision. So this area becomes very important for uh, blue side. If blue side loses this early on, it's not GG. It's just really hard to get back in here because these guys are like strong buildings and they take so much defense. So you need Rangers to make sure that Legion doesn't push you. Oh, he took this building. This is the first time we see this happen in the series. Wow, he took a supply truck. I wonder if there's actual ammo in there. I've never, <laughs> I've never taken that ever since I've played this game. I've never, like, done that in the PvP games. Interesting. So, since he doesn't have this down here, I'm pretty sure that um, Black Hawk Down has the bridge. He probably has something up here already. And let me look down. He does. He has uh, a couple of Vicks over here. And he's probably going to do a push for this building right here. Both players are more than happy to slow the roll down. This is usually how Founders versus Founders go. Um, you don't have to worry about like a rush with the um, APCs of Legion loaded up with homunculi because they can carry two homunculi units. But strikers can only carry one infantry squad with a sniper team, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, so this is another thing too. I don't think the facing really works well in this game yet. And I, th I definitely got to bring it up because like they're facing this way when they should be facing that way. And sometimes if you tell them to face this way, it just doesn't work um but it looks like we got our first bradley with a tow missile on it we got a couple uh apcs some engineers rangers i personally don't use a lot of mines but i'm excited to see how they play um we have a humvee pushing up to the north with a 50 cal on it good spread good spread no contact whatsoever from both sides at all everyone's more than happy to build up so it looks like i was right Black Hawk Down has a bunch of stuff right here. He's getting ready for a bridge push. And he's going to take all this. 
let me see here yeah he has a couple toes he has a jeep right here and all that so we'll see what happens here once contact gets made um kind of sad that we don't see warpath making a sniper team here but here here it is the first units but he is he is pushing up a, a humvee so now we're seeing each other first contacts being taken up toe's gonna hit this miss that's so sad let's see he's changed targets he's good he's moving his engineers back atgm miss hits a freaking railing right here that's the saddest thing you ever see but oh my oh oh that's so sad all right toe that's a hit first one commit where's the bradley for the founders apc over here or well this founder He's pushing this bridge hard. This is exactly what I would do. ATGMs are blasting up. Um, he's pushing up with a infantry, a ranger squad here. Yep, he knows exactly what he's doing. Black Hawk down, I think, has got the maneuvering going really well. There's nothing here to help him out. Oh, a little bit of a lag. A little bit of a lag spike. We need something. We need this APC to move up. Or uh, Bradley to move up. There it is. ATGM is out. That's good. He should probably move this ATGM squad out of there immediately. Ah, uh, they're dead. They're dead. So he lost that building a little bit too early on. ATGM is... Oh, he's so... He's getting really unlucky with these ATGM hits. So he's got to focus his Bradley on... Or his a Abrams on this Bradley ASAP. Okay, that's a good hit. He should move this Bradley down here to the south so he can still shoot through the smoke. He's got to push up. He's got to take it. He's going for it. He's got to get a good shot in. ATGM, don't worry about it because the smoke. There's no way. Oh, no, okay. Uh, he's got to push up with the Abrams, but this is fine. He's going to be able to knock this out. He did lose an ATGM squad down here, which is detrimental to a founder player. I feel like the more ATGMs you have, or, well, that one's a javelin. The more stuff that you got going out, the better. He's going for an ATGM shot in the rear armor. It's a miss. This is one of those moments that can change the game. He has to hit another ATGM. Come on. Come on, tow missile. That's a hit. All right. It might have destroyed it. I think it did. No, it's up. It's up. It's up. It's firing back on another tow. Oh. But now he's dead. One-shotted. You hate to see it. You hate to see it where... Yeah, he lost the bridge. What he should do is... Well, those are tank crew. So these rangers can't do crap against this AP uh, Bradley. So it should be fine. Big push coming down here. Big push. Blackhawk is on it. Blackhawk does have around like 200 something hours of story mode. But he's he's doing it. He's showing it that he can get crap done. Story mode and multiplayer, he said it doesn't matter. They're the same thing in my eyes. Oh, no, no. Oh, reload system's down. He's doing good. Black Hawk Down is going fantastic right now in these fights. Oh, man. Oh, man. Warpath is getting absolutely kind of pushed back. He lost his Bradley up here. Oh. He has... He doesn't really have anything else that's anti-tank. I think, I think, honestly, what Black Hawk Down should do is just push straight up and take um, E. Just take it. Oh, man, another freaking random truck got destroyed down here. Uh, e oh, okay, we got toes, we got 50s. I personally don't think it's worth buying the Humvees unless it's a toe. Me personally, I just don't think it's worth it. Um, that's one shotted. I, I I held my breath for that. That is, it could change the path of the game right now. He just got to. There's no smoke for this tank. He just got to hit that. Nothing else is happening. So this. Abrams pushing up. Abrams. Oh, tank crews taking this tank. Fire, fire the toe. Good trade. If it works, if it kills. Ah. Uh, You're fired. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, what a dodge. Come on. 
You're hired. Gun destroyed? That's 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 huge. That's huge. That's huge. Come on. Push this unit up and take out that tank, please. Okay, good. Push it up. Push it up. Take out the engineers. Oh man, come on. Push it up. You have to push this up, brother, please. Yes, 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 huge. Go, go, go. Yes, 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 keep going. Oh god. Not like this. Oh, what a what a Oh, he's getting some more ammo. That's good. This tank is immobilized and has de weapons damage, so he He has a chance to win this right now. He should push this to Oh, no, it's okay. Okay, he just got a he can buy Ah, he should have saved money and just bought um, a tow. Or just bought a javelin squad right there. This is not going to do much for him. Okay. Alright. He's pushing up. Tow missed. Yeah, it's... The range on the tow missiles is nuts to me. But, beautiful. Okay. Okay, we can now breathe a little bit. The trades were definitely in the favor of uh, Black Hawk Down for right there. Because he took that tank. That was originally um, Warpath's tanks. But now Warpath has a Black Hawk tank right here. That he can just rearm, reuse, and refit. Push up to the front. So good trades off. And he does own B. I think what Warpath's got to do right now is understand that he's got to move this a little bit forward to kill this guy. But he has to get a tank crew. Buying artillery when you don't have a lot of vision on the map, me personally, that's going to team kill. Yep. Um, me personally, I don't know if I can agree with it. Uh, I think artillery it could be... Actually, I can check. Let me see. I don't know why I haven't done this. Artillery is $3,400. $3, uh, it's just... I feel like there's many other things you can buy. You need more infantry to hold these buildings. You know, you need more infantry to make some more vision. Stuff like that. But... Here comes the ATGM. Beautiful. Drivers. They're trying to go for the tank, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Tank crew. I don't think I don't think Warpath knows this. They are? Oh! Beau Beau Beautiful. Beautiful. Honestly, that was nuts. Okay, so that pretty much made his money back. He used the artillery to blast that. Me personally, I, oh, oh, he's repairing this. I don't know. I just feel like a, a little bit more meat on the field would be a little bit better. But we got loaded up. We got Humvee here. We got infantry watching right now. He's got to get an ATGM in here or here again with infantry. Rangers in the front to provide some overwatch. Sniper teams start pushing them out. Get some vision out there. Own this bridge to Jeff Toes. Get this loaded up, push this up right here, and then you can fire onto the bridge. You just gotta get some vision up there. Get a sniper team, put them prone right here, or actually down here. And I think the vision counts from up here too. I could be wrong in that aspect, but there's gonna be a little bit of a lull of combat right now, since both founders lost a lot right there. Um, he Black Hawk down did lose a uh, tank, a Bradley, and a couple APCs. Ah, oh, there's a couple of Rangers here. With the artillery that he bought, he will be able to clear out a lot of this. He just needs to shoot the artillery here or here. Alright. There's a good little bit of a shootout right here. This whole middle area is probably infested with a bunch of infantry. That's a good artillery. I wonder who's going to be the first one to buy the... Uh, the, uh, the missile barrage. The Katushka, pretty much. He's... Ah! Oh! What a shot. What a shot from the artillery. I was about to say, I don't know if it was a good idea to go in here, but... Yeah, that was... Yeah. And then the artillery's coming down blasting this. This is getting good. Right now, this is what? A sniper team? Infantry squad. That's the whole infantry squad? I want to see, like, one dude out of four. And then this is going to be... A sniper team. You got to take this out. Because that can still do a lot of damage to your boys in here. And he has the ammo to do this. Because he has two ammo trucks. Doom. Doom. I have never thought of getting this. I should do that from now on. Um, what do we have up here? We have a Humvee. 
And then we have a Bradley IFV. We have a striker providing Overwatch. I think what he should be doing is maybe getting an infantry squad here or a sniper team or something to watch this. Um, but I think he's... It's a good comeback. I was kind of concerned for Warpath right there because it looked like a little dodgy. But if he keeps this up and does a slow push, kill this, and then take this, he will win. He just got to get maybe some infantry up here to hold this. Because right now, this and this is not going to do it. Because they can have an ATGM squad kind of low crawl and blast or have... Oh, he does have infantry in there. He's loading it up to the truck, though. I think it's good to put him here. This is the best building to have because this is weak or medium. And this is strong. So you might want to have it there. But interesting. All right. So everyone is buying. We're, we're buying a couple things here. Again, right now, I kind of I'm, I'm rooting for the underdog. I want Warpath to um, get the dub ski right now. Is what I'm hoping for. Me personally, I always root for the underdog. When it's Legion against movement, I'm always rooting for movement. If it's Legion against founders, it's a little bit more up in the air, but I'm going to root for founders because uh, human supremacy is the way to go. Uh, just saying, I don't think anything else can freaking beat the humankind, all right? Oh, we're doing a little bit of a... That I love this. I love... We're doing a maneuver. We're probably going to put the units right here. Blast his ammo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's pretty nuts. Okay, I like that. And how much... I wonder how much ammo these things have. Because... Yeah, he's doing pretty good. Oh, second artillery buy. Okay, all right. All right, he's got it. Artillery is the way to go for this guy. I like it. So he's getting infantry out here. Personally, I think I would have just went all the way up here and just risk it for the biscuit. Just drove around around here. Got my infantry right out and we're good to go. I like this maneuvering though. This is what we're here for. He's trying to get into the back lines. Wait for enemy artillery, hopefully. He, oh, okay. All right. I like that. I like that. And like I said, he's going to get an infantry squad right here to watch this for him. And he should be fine down here now. He won't get flanked. He just needs a sniper team up here. Low crawled and he should be fine. Okay. Oh, he's putting them here. I wonder why. I wonder what's the reason for this. Huh. Interesting. Okay. That's that's I don't know. I would like to talk to him after this and see what that strategy is about. Okay. We got loaded up. Um, I think this is when you want to do like a little bit of a sacrificial pawn. You want to, well, put the rangers up here. And then maybe buy another unit of like a driver or something and just throw them into the sea. That's pretty cool though. I like it. All right. Very well. He still has his APC. I think they're just providing overwatch to make sure he doesn't get flanked, which I respect. Again, lull in combat. Founder versus founder. They lost a lot up here at this bridge fight. There's a lot to be gained if he just does a little bit of a maneuver. I don't know right now who has the best trades, though. If I look at um, the other founder player, Black Hawk Down, right now I'll give you a quick summary of what he's got. He's got one artillery, um, a couple units in the church, and then a couple units in the gas station. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Here, you guys can't see this, but here he has a, a tank, a Bradley and a striker coming all the way from down here up into his spawn. He's going all the way around. That is going to be insane, guys. I don't think he's noticed this. Oh, he just spawned something in. Yeah, see? Oh, friendly fire. Oh, my friendly fire just killed that. Okay. No, no, no. Don't spawn anything in. Don't spawn anything in. Let it drive past you. Let it drive past you. Turn this shit around, brother. Turn all this shit around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an easy kill. This is easy kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Because you're about to hit this with an ATGM on the side. Boom. And from the front. Gun destroyed. Done. Easy kill, brother. Easy kill. That is detrimental. If he... Oh, my. Oh, my word. If he leaves this, this is a... F wow. Wow, what a turnaround. Okay, so if he takes a, uh, a tank unit of drivers and takes this, this is a free tank. 
Oh my god! That was such a good. That was that was insane. I was not expecting um. Blackhawk to do that. Holy crap, man! That's what I'm fucking talking about. All right, so that's good. He should know now. Bet I can push C. I can push C. I own this shit now. That's fucking. That's all of his points gone. Push that. Push C. Take it and win. Wow. Wow. That's insane. Right now is when we want to start thinking though about getting anti airs. Ten minutes in the game, maybe getting a little bit of a Sam site going would be a little bit good. Just saying. Oh. Oh. He's repelling in. And artillery just destroyed all this. Oh. That's saddening. So he's what he's gonna do now, uh, Warpath, is just go straight for C. Take C. Go for A. Take a spawn. Or go for B. But just start moving. Start pushing. You got nine minutes, you know? You got nine minutes, so you gotta start doing something. Or taking D. You know, making some plans to go. Because those nine minutes will freaking disappear just like that. But what a play. Ah, he's just, just staying right here. Like, he's got to do something. I believe. I believe. Come on. We got a striker over here. We got a toe over here. We got some APC. Uh, APC, some artillery being reloaded. He's got the groundworks for a good... There it is. Look at that. That's a free tank right there, baby. Fix it on up. Get in there. And he's probably waiting for this to take C. Honestly, I'd probably buy my own helo now and use it as a strike force now to start unloading troops around. All right, they just got another. They got another bit of money coming in, so they can buy some stuff. What's the plan here, Warpath? What's the plan? We gotta do something. We gotta do some maneuver. I think he's doing a little bit of a build-up force, and then he's gonna do a push. Make your bets. I don't know exactly where he's gonna push from, though. I think he's got the best trades right now. Well, I, I don't think I can see right now that. Yeah, he's out trading uh, Blackhawk down. I think he's a little bit concerned and getting clapped so he's not pushing but we gotta we gotta get some vision out in the field see what's going on this infantry up here i feel like it could be pushed to a you know do a little bit of a back door and we should be fine and this infantry i think he should push up to here and start scouting out d you know because you own the bridge so you might as well rotate and take d and then c because he and then get a sniper team over here uh, but he's going through the back roads, going around. Uh, you want... Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We do have a driver here. You might use the driver to go into this point and capture it. I, that's, I'm always down for that. Like, get a vehicle, a shitty vehicle you don't care about. Drive it into a point. See if there's any enemies there. If there's no enemies there, take it. You know? But, seven minutes. Seven minutes. He's letting his uh, enemy build up. He had the lead right there, but now with ATGMs and the founders, I feel like me personally, no matter how far back they are, if you let them rat a little bit, those ATGMs can quickly turn the game around by making you lose your armor. Because, I mean, most Legion weaponry is one shot anyways, except the tanks, obviously. So those guys, meh. But right now, against another fellow founder... It's, it's, like, you, you know that you collapsed his infantry at the start. You know he lost, he lost a good bit of tanks. Like, this is time to go. But he's setting up a defense area. He's getting some rangers in this building, which is good. Um, he might be a little bit scared of losing this, which I understand. But once we push up, we should be fine. He has a lot of backline support going. Um, what happened to those tanks that he had? Oh, they're there. Right there like this move it up take it or well, don't even i say at this point just screw b take c and d is the easiest ones to defend um you already know he has a helo up there so making a pass at that's going to be detrimental if he left a helo but the thing is he can move that bitch all over the place if he wants to okay looks like we're making a maneuver we got engineers in a humvee we have a truck coming on up interesting He's using a lot of um, world stuff going on here. I don't know what what's the point of this truck, though. Is it for ammo? Is there ammo in this thing? Or is it just a normal truck? 
he might be using it as like a like a like a like a tank pretty much like to bait out a tow missile from the uh the helo because that's a that's one toe gone at that point <coughs> excuse me but i feel we're a little we have so much we have so much power right now we're not doing a lot with it. I'm kind of concerned that Warpath might stagnate until the last 30 seconds and then lose just because he's... Mm, oh, he's he's building up, all right. A lot of 50 cows and plasma guns. We got an ATGM squad. He can load that up in the Humvee and drive him up. All right, let's... let's he's going to get prepared for... I'm, I'm, he might do a push the last five minutes, which is definitely a viable strategy. You do a push for the last five, take D and C, and you're good. I just, he just needs to do something right now. Okay. So one thing too that I like is the infantry squads for founders can move really fast and fast the monkey lie and get to point A, point B pretty quickly without having to be, you know, driven there. So I feel like early on, you can just kind of let it be. But at this point, he is, he's thick. Warpath is thick. It looks like he's getting ready for a push on B, and he's getting finally ready for a push on Bridge. I think you should have an infantry squad go in front of you. He has an ATGM squad going over here instead. This might be a SAM site. He has the Humvee going up. Um, and then um, Black Hawk Down does have a force that he's built up on this bridge by coming up now. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Because... Black Hawk Down is making a push now. It's, yeah. That's nuts. You see this, and then you're like, alright, we got him. Like, take that. Push him now. That's like all of his points gone. Yeah. So we saw that, so we gotta go. Oh, now we gotta go? Oh my god, that... Oh, the jav... The javelin's so much slower than the toe. Ah... Uh... Yep, that'll do it. He's got to push now. Warpath has to see this and be like, Alright, easy win. Yes, you lost your artillery. That don't fucking matter. This is an easy dub. Take D, take C, let's go. He spent all of his money on jeeps. Come on, man. Let's go, let's go. He's pushing. Yep, he's got vision on you somehow, so you gotta figure that out. Uh, he groups up, he rubber band boxes and makes them move together. You can't be doing that. You gotta let them just, just move, please. Two minutes. Two minutes. Now we know though, that's our first javelin strike on um, the tournament. And that's a pretty good javelin strike. That's two artillery. Two trucks of ammo, and I'm pretty sure infantry squad here and here. Gone. So it's a good trade. Oh, now he's doing a freaking uh, Humvee strap. I think we forgot about D. Maybe. I like this, though. It's a pretty even game so far. That maneuver from the south from Blackhawk was nuts. I did not even witness that until I looked over at the side, and I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. So we got a minute. Um, I don't know why we're not. There it is, the, uh, the Blackhawk, but it's almost dead. So, you just gotta shoot it once and you're good. What are we doing here, though? Why are we not pushing up with this? Why are we not pushing up with that? Why are we not pushing up with the Abrams tank? Why are we not taking D, you know? <laughs> oh, there it is. We're taking C. We're taking C. No, no, go in this building. Oh, we're making some maneuvers. We're making a lot of maneuvers. Look at that. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Having one Humvee, the D is not the vibe. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta really concentrate fire on that thing. He's pushing. A minute. It, it's just, it might be a little bit too late. Because infantry survives pretty strong in buildings, man. Oh, that's a hit. 
This is a good push over here, though. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to send the, the helo down this way. And then this is coming down here. He's got vision back here. There you go. He's doing some pushes, though. He's getting in here. There's a lot of fighting going on right now. I just think we waited a little bit too long. You gotta at least give yourself five minutes. I think at the last five minutes, that's your final assault. Because infantry lasts so long in these buildings. He had the... Definitely the upper advantage right there. I like that comeback though, because Warpath was definitely on the losing side towards the, the start there, and he came back. This is this again, this is like his his first couple games, and that was fantastic, I think, of a good fight. From both guys. Alright. I won. I'll see you guys to the next episode. Love you and have a good one.